Hi guys, Chris here, and you're watching Here We Are Running, and welcome back to the channel for another episode of my ultramarathon training as I make my way towards the 22nd of May when I'll be doing my first 50 miler, the North Downs Way 50. And for this episode, I thought we'd do things a little bit differently. I thought I'd take the camera out on every run I did this week and just talk to you as the week progresses. And we'll we catch some of the other running related stuff that happens during the week. That Right, well, schoolboy error this week was didn't actually delete all of the footage off of the SD card on the GoPro from the previous week, and after that very short clip, it ran out of space. So anyway, it's a good job I am taking you out every day this week, because you didn't see much of that run, but it was nine kilometers at an easy pace, uh, 128 beats per minute for the heart rate, and averaged at five minutes, 40 seconds per kilometer. And whilst I was out, the postman came. Two items, actually. Two items. So I'm going to show you what they are. Firstly, this is going to be vital for my double run day today. Uh, as you probably know, that on a uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I try and do double run days. And for this evening's double run, it will be on Zwift, uh, the, the extra run. And if you saw the chaos that went on at the weekend, with my treadmill disconnecting from my phone, which then meant that the speed wasn't being reported through to Zwift. I needed new batteries for my Zwift pod. So that's what I've got, new batteries for the Zwift pod. The Zwift pod's not ideal for running on the treadmill on Zwift. It's not that accurate, but I know that this evening's run and tomorrow morning's run, they're gonna be done at a constant pace. So I calibrate it okay, I should be all right. So those are the batteries I need for the Zwift pod. And this one, let's see what's in here. Another box. Tailwind. So Dan Runs, who's also doing the North Downs Way 50, recommended this. Uh, I'm gonna try it out this weekend on my long run. See how we get on with it. It could be the fueling of choice for the North Downs Way 50, we'll see. And uh, a nice uh, little message on a card here. Hi Chris, thank you for the order and a warm welcome from the team at Tailwind. Enjoy your starter pack. You'll find Tailwind on all the aid stations at the Centurion runs, so you're in good company. That's good to know. <laughs> good luck with the training. So thanks for that, Tailwind. I will uh, certainly give it a try. Okay, evening run on Zwift using the Zwift pod, so my paces are all over the place. Uh, I'm doing the pack social 5K this evening, and I'll tag an extra couple of kilometers onto that. That will make it seven kilometers, and that will make it 16 kilometers or 10 miles for Tuesday. Right, Wednesday lunch, so second run of the day. Already done a run on Zwift. Uh, got up early, five, seven o'clock, to do the Bologna uh, climb, where we go 10% on the treadmill for the final couple of kilometers. And yeah, enjoyed that, and now, out for a lunchtime run, probably 10, 11 kilometers. We're getting swarmed by little gnats. <laughs> it's not, not fun. Right, coming towards the end of this run, but before I end this run, just wanted to update you on a couple of things. Firstly, the National Running Show. This year I'm an ambassador for the National Running Show. Uh, if you've been around on the channel for a while, you've seen me go to that event before. There's a, a playlist containing all my vlogs from it. They're actually doing a National Running Show south. So south of the UK, south of England, in Farnborough. Happening in July, details on the screen now. If you wanna go, if you book your tickets now, 
they're normally 10 pounds but you can get them for free if you use my ambassador code so all the details in the comments or descriptions what to click on to do that so if you're thinking you might want to go to it get your ticket anyway because uh get it for free now and that deal is not going to last forever hello and welcome to thursday i think it's supposed to be getting serious when's the last time you saw me wearing a raincoat out for a run it was raining although it seems to have stopped now but it might start again before the end of this run but in the rush to get out the door i forgot to put the heart rate monitor on my chest so we're going by the optical heart rate on the wrist which as you probably know is not very accurate and don't worry guys i'm doing an easy pace run i'm not in zone five as the watch might suggest so on this run i thought we have a little chat about some running shoes that i've purchased recently firstly i mentioned the vlog a few weeks ago now that i had purchased a couple of pair of running shoes from a particular brand and that they should have arrived quite quickly <laughs> in fact i asked you guys to guess what they were uh of which some of you did and i think i think somebody guessed correctly in terms of the brand anyway uh they that brand i bought directly from the brand and they obviously supply the uk from europe and we are over now three and a half weeks since i ordered them and they still haven't arrived at my front door so all the customs delays and everything due to brexit is the reason apparently but that's really frustrating to say the least that you buy running shoes and you buy them from a uk website and yet you've got a week wait potentially four weeks they're now saying that they're going to come on monday i have no faith in that at all because they've been saying a certain date and then they slip it and then they slip it so at the moment all i know is they've made it into the uk and they're due to arrive on monday and the other bit of shoe news so who on thursday morning at eight o'clock uk time was on the nike website looking to get the latest version of their very popular calm plated race shoe the nike vaporfly next percent version 2 uh, well actually i was and i picked up a pair which you might be saying well why they're a neutral running shoe yep but there aren't any stability racing shoes what you call real racing shoes so i did pick up uh, a pair of those shoes they should again be arriving on monday so monday could be a very busy delivery day we shall see uh, but yeah i've got them really just to run my races in when races start up again so they won't be getting a lot of use straight away but i thought why not hey so comment below if you've got any and also comment below if you've had any problems purchasing if you're in the uk and you've had any problems purchasing shoes from any of the big shoe brands delays shipping across from europe let us know what your experience is my experience with asics they take a long long time to arrive but let me know what you think right coming to the end of this run it's between 10 and 11 kilometers easy pace run today and building up the volume nicely across the course of this week so far Friday has come a bit of a tradition in this training block a 12 kilometer trail run double climb involved from Gatton Park up to the top of Rygate Hill is the first climb To the monument there we're looping back around here and we are going to go down it's a bit windy today Woo. So 
So now we're running along the bottom of Collie Hill. Collie Hill's way up there and we're going to be climbing it in a moment. Okay, so it's six and a half kilometers into the run. So just over the halfway stage, we begin the big climb. <laughs> Nearly at the top. Okay, this route has the opportunity to get in a third climb. Up there. It's a short one, but it's a steep one. Today we're taking the opportunity. Let's go. Right, that is it for the climbing today. A couple of kilometers back home and a nice early Friday run. So despite the ASICS website and the UPS website still saying that the delivery is gonna come on Monday, the shoes have actually arrived. It's taken more than three weeks, nearly four weeks but they finally arrived, so let's see what I ended up getting. One box, two boxes. Woo, first one, right. New trail shoes, uh, what are these called? They are called, it doesn't say, does it? The uh, Gel Trabuco 9. And they are actually a stability trail shoe. So looking forward to trying that out. Probably gonna try it out this weekend. Second box. Check out this colorway. Now these are the A6 DS Trainer 26, uh, which as I can feel already is a very lightweight shoe. It's a stability shoe, but it's, it's kind of a, I guess it's a lighter weight racing type of stability shoe from A6. We'll be really interested to compare this to my other lightweight stability shoes. Right, Saturday, it's long run, part one, and we're back to Box Hill in Dorking, running along the North Downs Way, back over to Rygate. Not sure how long this one's gonna be. I'll check in with you at various points and keep you updated. Right, 16 kilometers in or 10 miles, going well so far. Uh, in terms of hydration, nutrition, we have got the berry flavoured tailwind at the moment. Water in the other side in case we need it. And then for shoes we've got the A6 gel Trabuco 9s on and uh, feeling very comfortable at the moment. Dealing very well with this sort of mixed terrain of rocky paths, lots of mud, tarmac to begin with. Not so comfortable on the tarmac, as you might expect, but so far so good with them too. Three hours on feet and 27 kilometers done so far. Still going good, we're at Merstham now. We're continuing on along the North Downs Way towards Caterham. And then before we get there, we'll, we'll make a turn and start making our way home again. I'm still not sure how long this run's gonna end up being. <laughs> Stay watching, you'll find out shortly. 
Right, 32k in and I've run out of my tailwind now. I went down very well though, like that. Um, so I've now switched to the Univeg gels. This is, what is this? Salted lime. Woo. <laughs> it's got a kick to it. Woo. Yeah, you could definitely taste this. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> There we go. Four hours, 40 and a half minutes for marathon distance run, largely out the trails. And, whoo, happy I did that. Happy I've done that, definitely. Okay, short, hope, short walk home, then recover. We go again Sunday. Well, we can safely say that this weekend has been a double long run weekend. Two and a half hours in, 24 kilometers run on very tired legs. I definitely know now what it's like to run on tired legs. I'm not far from home. I think probably a kilometer and a half from home. I may just tag on an extra kilometer and a half That'll take it to 27 kilometers, which I think will take it to an 80 mile week. That is by far the furthest I've run in a week before. So, don't go away though, because there's a package arriving at home in about an hour's time. has been a mammoth week of running and thank you especially you guys that are still here right at the end for staying right to the end and watching it hopefully the chapters might have helped if you had to watch a little bit and then come back anyway let me know if you've enjoyed this format of video uh, compared to my normal format or perhaps you prefer the normal format uh, drop a comment let me know that will be useful feedback and before I go um, just a special mention to uh, Dan Runs, Ben Notley and Chris that running guy who are taking on a 50k ultra in Ada Charity next weekend. Uh, best of luck to them and uh, go and check their channels out, support them because uh, they're, uh, they're doing 50k next weekend. Guys, I shall see you. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give the video a like as always, really appreciated. If you're new around here and you have stayed right to the end, you must want to subscribe, so hit that subscribe button as well. But for now guys, goodbye.